in this video I am going to tell you how I ended up with this. Let's see what I'm doing here, don't want to insult. Hello and welcome back to what can only be described as a personal vlog. Yeah, personal vlog. So I just wanted to bring you up to date with things that are happening or the thing that has happened in my life. And um, very recently, I, at the time of this recording, it happened yesterday and the day before. And I just wanted to share it with you and let you have an update. So, as some of you might be aware, I'm a little bit unsteady on my feet at the moment, suffering from um, a mild form of what's known as Guillain-Barre syndrome. And so I stagger a lot and I find it difficult to stand on one foot, etc, etc. I also get very tired very quickly and a host of other things that are associated with this syndrome. However, the important one is the fact that I am wobbly on my legs. So on Friday evening, I finished streaming because, and if you don't know this, you really should check me out. I'm currently doing Stream Every Day in December. Here's a little jingle. I'll be streaming, I'll be streaming, I'll be streaming each day. I'll be streaming every day in December all the way. Hashtag. I'll be streaming, I'll be streaming, I'll be streaming each day. I'll be streaming every day in December all the December, all the December, all the way. Hashtag stream underscore M A S. Stream us. Hope you like that. I was, I've recorded that on a multi track audacity in audacity and well i'm quite proud of it anyway currently i'm streaming every day in december to raise my streaming profile and try to get um some stream loots partnership i, I want to try to get partnership with um street loots and anyway i digress i digress so i finished streaming and i got ready to go in the bath and unfortunately in the preparation to go into the bath I fell and as I fell I moved my right arm um, out to try to protect myself and it was caught in the the elasticated bottom leg you know on a pair of joggers you know that keeps it tight to the ankle anyway and it pulled away from there and there was a crack I definitely heard a crack and I thought oh what was that anyway hopped into the bath and looked at my finger and to show you on my other finger is if this was my good finger um, this part here was actually bent 90 degrees so it it was like that all by itself all by itself <laughs> it was like that and the finger was a little bit swollen and a bit wonky and I thought good grief what have I done at that point looking at it I got very faint and lightheaded and I thought good grief I'm going to pass out in the bath so quickly using all my wits I pulled the plug and rolled out of the bath onto the bathroom floor I quickly got a towel and <laughs> the only way I could dry myself off was to roll about on the towel as if I was on fire. I wasn't, of course, but I sort of rolled about backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and then felt very sick and um, faint. So I laid back and I put both my feet up on the toilet seat. Now you have to understand that I live by myself and this was at half past 10, quarter to 11 at night. The front door, which is down a set of steps was locked and double bolted top and bottom and I, I'm actually thinking what do I do what do I do even if I could call for help I couldn't walk down and unbolt the door so anyway I, I waited around a bit and thought oh I'm feeling a bit better now so put put some boxes on and then I looked at my finger again and I thought this is not good and I thought right if it's broken then the best thing to do is to strap it to another finger 
um, to protect it. So I searched around and could only find um, a handkerchief. And so I wrapped my two fingers up. So like these two fingers, I wrapped it up with handkerchief and then used some of this Christmas string to tie a knot, which was really difficult because I'm right-handed and my finger wasn't working on here. So it, it wasn't working at all and it took me ages. I suddenly realized I couldn't use the scissors in my left hand and and I, I understand everybody who's left-handed now trying to use, use normal scissors. I did find, however, that my beard clipping um, scissors are both left and right-handed, which is well done, well done. I think it's, I think it's, um, I forget the company. I'll put it down here when I edit. Anyway, so I tied that up. That made me um, faint again. So I managed to get onto the bed and lie down and eventually had a very restless night's sleep uh, with dreams of broken fingers, etc. And I eventually woke up and couldn't get back to sleep about four or five o'clock in the morning. Anyway, I then thought about six and seven o'clock for some unknown reason i thought the national health 111 phone service which is what you can call when it's not an emergency but get some advice i had it in my head that it didn't come online until seven o'clock and I'd, i don't know why i was thinking that anyway phoned it and uh, almost like immediately got through to a very nice lady who <coughs> took my details checked things and said right you need to get to a and e can you get to a and e at the local hospital i said yes i said but i, I got really a dothery leg so it'll take me about an hour to walk there and she said that's not a problem i will make sure that they are, they are expecting you within the hour and if we don't hear from you then we will ring you to make sure you're on the way so i'm now in a state of high panic thinking good grief you know what what's happening here so at sort of like half past seven in the morning i headed off down to the local um hospital at this point i have to say how fantastic our nhs um people are so um i'm going to show you what my finger looked like in the accident and emergency department so it's not very bad, but, you know, if you're a bit squeamish, now is the time to look away from the screen. Okay, you can look back now. You can look back now. It's gone. Anyway, they decided that I needed x-rays. So I went off and got x-rays of the back of my hand, front of my hand, side of my hand, just the finger, everything very thorough very thorough and so pleasant all the time i honestly I, I don't know how they do it i don't know how they do it anyway um got back and i have what is known as mallet finger i think what it is i'm going to put a little picture up but basically what i've done and this is from their leaflet that they gave me i've torn this tendon here and that's causing my finger to go forward and swell up, etc., etc. So it's in a mallet splint now, and it's in there for six weeks. And after six weeks, I have to go to the doctor and find out what I, I need to do next, etc., etc. Now, um, this splint is really important because it's fixing my finger in the straight. It holds it in that straightness. And it's straight and that's allowing the tendon to regrow and even when i try to change it i have to make sure that i keep that finger really um, straight um, because if i don't then all the time it's taken for that tendon to draw the tendon will just snap again and then that's it so i've got it on for six weeks and yeah and that's it now i just want to pause at this moment and say a couple of things First of all, NHS, you are fantastic. You are utterly fantastic. I love you to bits and support you 100%. You know, I was dealt with 
very quickly, very carefully. I felt respected, you know, and felt that you invested in me getting better, which was brilliant. The second thing I was going to say is that you don't actually realize how much you use your middle finger. So this is what it looks like now. Um, fingers are shaking because of the Guillain-Barre syndrome, so don't worry about that. Um, so first things first, scrolling. I can't scroll on the mouse anymore. I have to use a different finger. I'm finding it really difficult to use my PS4 controller. Um, because I have to stick this, I know it's upside down, but you can imagine I can't use the trigger with this finger. So that's hilarious. Things like um, picking up and drinking. Okay, so this is how I have to drink because I can't put my finger through the bit of the uh, handle. And you might have noticed at this point that this is starting to be a little bit rude and i was sat um, eating my cereal and this is what it looks like when i'm holding a spoon so yeah I, i'll leave you with that image um six weeks to get better um i'm i'm looking forward already to having the splint off and being able to use all my fingers again but until then i have to keep it dry so i'm having baths and showers with a rubber glove on it, i can't i have to be really careful when i clean it clean my hand and not get that dirty or anything i have actually got a another set of stuff to go on because when they put the initial splint in my um, finger was swollen so I've got another one when that swelling's gone down to put on and yeah so <laughs> I can safely say you know 2020 to 2021 has been some year for my health etc so but the important thing is that I'm still here I'm still working I'm still streaming and I'm still loving everything so, yeah, thank you for paying attention and listening to that catch up. And, yeah, hopefully nothing else will happen before Christmas or, or until this comes off. Yeah, have a wonderful time, everyone. Catch you later. See ya. Bye.